G'day, this is Captain Uber, and this is an AS Vol. This is a weapon of Russian design developed around the 1980s, and one of the bigger features of this weapon is it's got its integrated suppressor at the front, and it's got this funky rifle cartridge, which is 9x39, which is not the your standard dimensions for bullets, but they do pack a punch and help punch through armor, so that's pretty nice, isn't it? What you're looking at here is a direct port from Call of Duty Modern Warfare, so we can't really add any points for the looks of this thing because it's obviously been made by a professional game developer and just ported over from its respective game. It's also got custom sounds and reload animations. I have never used this thing in Call of Duty, but whether they're um, ported from the game as well will probably be the case, but I'm pretty sure that's what they would have done here to sort of bring the experience of the ASVL into Fallout 4. I've got some attachments and the receivers go as follows. Upgraded, tuned, hard and superior, powerful, godlike. Godlike receiver for better damage and speed, which reduces the speed somehow. Except it doesn't? No, it's fine. It was showing minuses there before, but that's the best receiver on the weapon and 264 damage from automatic weapon that's going to be firing this fast going to be pretty good you can have bipods and foregrips on this if you've ever played call of duty you'll probably recognize these things directly from the game don't worry about the fire rate going up that's just a visual bug that doesn't actually mean it's uh, firing at 397 now and there's stocks that's like a vss stock right there and you can chuck on these ones I'm guessing that most of these descriptions have been directly ported over, or re rather rewritten, as they would ha have said in Call of Duty. But you can change the barrel a little bit. The longest barrel here gives you the best range and accuracy, so that's actually the best barrel you can equip onto it. You'll note that we've actually gone over to the pistol grips now, which will put a rubberized grip tape to control the recoil. But sometimes you just miss out on attachments um, if you don't have... Uh, the uh, specific barrels. This one's got a few extra Picatinny rails on the side, which you can attach lasers on, like so. And the lower rail obviously is already filled, but I'm counting another one just there. I don't see any actual um, attachment point for that, so I guess that's just there for looks. Right now, I've got a standard mag, which is 20 rounds. You can have an extended mag, which has 30, or you could put the SPP rounds in it, which will actually change the fire mode to semi-auto, so maybe for a sniper approach, but you do get an extra bit of damage out of it, so not as worthless as it might seem at face value, but we'll chuck in some extra rounds there. We'll be able to sustain bursts a little bit longer, increase our DPS over sustained period for a little bit longer, <clears throat> and a bunch of these uh, COD attachments have been equipped onto this, including the air attack, which is Corp Combat, and usually the Cobra is Viper, but in this case it is a Cobra site, so we're going to chuck that on because we have to, because it's an AS Val, just like the old Battlefield 3 days, and what I like about the uh, Call of Duty weapon ports is they really go the extra mile and just adding um, these little bit silly um, perks you can add to your weapon, so obviously it'll just give it to you when it's equipped you can have sleight of hand for a faster reload which is never a bad thing especially when we're going to be blazing through the magazine in like two seconds steady aim i think is good um the extra bonus from the vats enhance thing is nice as well falling damage can be covered with acrobats um that's just nimble again we could probably synergize that with legendary effect and turbo sneak like you wouldn't believe Quick draw is a little bit useless. You don't really need that split second um, reaction to aim down sights to shoot someone, and the the uh, HP regeneration probably works only outside of combat. But there's a couple of cool things in there, and a bunch of camos which will bloat up the file size on this. But you can get low textures, low um, quality textures if you feel like not having a four gig uh, gun worth of. Um, I guess, textures in your folder. Now, I'm thinking we'll go for something with a little bit of red on it. That's a little bit too much, but it's not red, but it's close enough. We'll grab Garter Snake on this one, and a legendary effect is there if you need it. Now, you can also grab Malpus, which is a legendary variant, or I guess skin in Call of Duty, and it basically, it's the same thing, but it's got a different color dust cover and some red markings on it which is probably some sort of satanic rune so 
I don't know, you could use that if you want. It's exactly the same, so we'll turn this one into like a VSS type setup here with a scope and one of the uh, big old uh, wooden stocks on it, but we won't get to that now. We'll actually start shooting stuff. Acquiring this weapon and its ammo types are really easy. Just go to a chemistry workbench, you'll find the bullets. You get six bullets for every two bits of lead, and you need a little bit more lead to make the SPP rounds. They ask for well, you'll craft with actual materials, but Malpus, Malfas, you get with 10,000 bottle caps. I don't know why I duplicated that, but I'm going to craft some ammo BRB. Righto, so it's a lovely day here in the Commonwealth just outside of Gunners Plaza, and I sure hope walking two meters in that direction wouldn't suddenly bring home a storm or anything. That would be unfortunate. But anyways, this is the ASVL in first person, and this is the VSS variant because that's like the semi-auto one. It's got a Dragonov scope, which is just... It looks like a PSO. Uh, they've got the same barrel. This one's got the uh, semi-automatic design on it with the 10-round magazine for higher damage. And the foregrips work. That's pretty cool. And i got to say, for some reason, these ASVLs look really small. Uh, maybe I'm used to the combined arms, but are these scaled properly? I'm not really sure. We'll have to investigate that. Maybe I'll do a comparison video one day about uh, these uh, combined armed weapons versus... Uh, weapons not from combined arms. Anyways, let's shoot people. Well, that's a one-shot kill. That that's great. We'll try to get that guy's head removed. Well, okay. So it looks like we can one-shot these guys in the head from back here, which is pretty good. Uh, yeah, we'll have to hit him in the head to actually get him in one shot. But I'm thinking since this is like a VSS type setup, we could probably spam the trigger really good, and it's starting to fog up a little bit here. Yeah, alright, looks like it's on for young and old now, so we'll switch over to our other AS vault, and we'll get to work. Again, we've got the godlike receiver on this, so we should be able to do a pretty good job on these guys. There's the reload animation, by the way. There'll be reload animations in third person as well as I get a grenade thrown at me. It hurt no more than a rock bouncing next to me, it would turn out, though. They don't make frag grenades like they do in real life in the Fallout universe, but... Going by the sort of COD controllability and somewhat unrealism of... Is he firing at me with a 50 cal? He is, and he's really fast on the bolt, as it turns out. That's interesting. But this thing has barely any recoil to speak of at all, so as long as you're pointing it in the general right direction here, and I'm kind of not in a good spot right now, there's probably like 20 gunners shooting at me behind me, so let's we'll isolate a couple of these guys and take them out like that. Is that the creation club lady? It certainly is. Good for her. It's always a chick gunner that has that, and is that a... that's a mantis. So probably don't have to worry about that too much. Let's just get some sniping happening. Actually, I'm slipping back into danger here, and it actually isn't raining for once. This is like the first time in, like, forever in Gunners Plaza where it hasn't. We do have the ability to use VATS should we want to, and let's use it just a little bit. So, this is the uh, PSO standard scope sort of deal. And we've actually got ourselves a level up out of that, so we got all of our health back. I should probably think about getting out of this position right now. No more heals, but I think with the amount of health that we have at this uh, stage, I think we'll be able to tank through the rest of the gunners quite easily with a running gun sort of playstyle here. As long as I hit these guys, huh? Come here. There we go. With the extra rounds in the magazine. It feels like I can reliably kill these guys without expending an entire magazine, which gives me a lot of confidence to play a little bit more aggressively. Some of the problems with mod guns sometimes is they don't account for players using a higher difficulty. We actually killed that guy with ricochet. And what'll happen is these guys will just be out tanking all of your bullets, and that's not fun. There we go. That guy's going to be a little bit harder to hit. Let's bring out the sniper one again. 
So absolutely hammering on the trigger. Looks like we can shoot this very fast. I could imagine how strong this would be with headshots, sneak criticals, and spamming the trigger that fast. The DPS, I think, would be, well, very strong indeed. I kind of wish I had some sort of variant with a scope like this with an automatic receiver just to see how it goes. What the hell's going on there? Excuse me? What is that? I don't know what that is, but you're going away now. You're getting double critted there. And we're in nerd range now, so let's try to make some use out of it. There we go. That was a little baby gunner up there being one shot with for 200 damage. There we go. That's an MG42 fella taken out. Let's get some of these crits back, I think. Very good. Just one more to go now. But looks to me like there's only uh, the three that are in that room that's locked for some reason. I'd like to think that they're just sitting there playing cards whilst the rest of the gunners are being shot at and killed. And they're wondering what the hell the racket is. Maybe it's a couple of the... A couple of the higher ranking gunners in there that don't need to do a lot. They're, they're making plans for their next... I don't know hit on a Minuteman settlement because that's all the gunners really do in this game. They don't expand. I kind of wish there were they were a little bit more for the gunners to do in Fallout 4. All right. And that is it. Luckily these guys didn't have a MG42 otherwise that would have shredded me out the door. We are at 389 bullets for my automatic and 257. That's probably enough to kill a monster, so we'll go and do that. Good start, Kira. Righto, so here's how it's going to go down. I want to demonstrate the full power of this thing and its ability to uh, utilize sneak criticals to do a whole lot of damage. The problem is, though, um, this, that super mutant was aggroed, so I couldn't get the multipliers on him to get that to work properly. And now Swan's going down there has probably picked a fight with a few bears. Maybe. He's definitely pissed off with something, but the sniper knockdowns are easy to come by when you've got a rate of fire such as this. Although apparently shooting him in the ass does not work. We can get him knocked down there, but there's just something around him. Oh, it's that little blood. He's, he's stomping on it. We'll try to give him a hand. There we go. That's that thing dead now, and I think he's completely unaggroed. So if we absolutely hammer this trigger, we're getting a thousand damage per shot there. And he can't move, provided we get the uh, lucky sniper knockdowns. And there's a reason why I choose sleight of hand for the uh, for the uh, perk on both of these things, because ten rounds they go by real quick, like. And there we go. That's it. So, the power of the Stealth Rifleman has been demonstrated here quite well, I think. But what about the Stealth Commando side of things? I want to test this out. We'll uh, dim the lights a bit. We'll come back and uh, shoot stuff. I still think this Azvel looks really small. Is it a toy gun or is Kira 12 foot tall? Who knows? She's not 12 foot tall. She's normal size. Okay, so now it's the dead of night and there's rain happening. So, the odds are kind of stacked in my favor for maximum sneak critting and maximum damage. So, we'll get started. Oh yeah, that stagger there. That's pretty much got him destroyed. Wow. That was lightning fast. That's like proper Russian Spetsnaz, which if you if you followed XCOM, you know that Kira's origin, she's from Russia. Didn't really age well, but you know, I've had her that's her country of origin for a few years now. I'm not going to change it. I could, though. There's plenty of other countries that wouldn't piss people off just by naming them. But I won't. Anyways, that was fun. Let's uh, find something else. Okay, so I'm in the glowing seat, and I found this thing. A Wanamingo, which I'm pretty sure is like a Fallout 2 dude. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Oh, tough bastard, aren't you, hey? And now you giblets. And there's also another one over there, I think. I'm going to snipe at him. Oh, 
almost there. This one's even legendary. I think I can ping him from back here, surely. Actually, I'm having trouble hitting him. Has he got a gulper hitbox, but also the model of like, something massive? He's being attacked by a BFG 9000. I can't even vats him from here. Uh, okay, well, I guess I'll have to just run up to him. We'll give him give him the old bull auto with the AS bow here. And... Oh, then a rad scorpion shows up. Like, your vanilla game, get out of here, you're boring. I'm gonna give you some bats treatment right in the face. Ooh, you didn't like that, did ya? Look at that there. That's a menacing stare, isn't it? Okay, I think I broke his path thing, so he, d he decided to play the mind games, but... Yeah, not not too worried, buddy. And there's Mercy. Get out of here. With your BFG 9000. Pick that up. And that should be that quest complete. Yep. Alright, so I want to take out something bigger, but I think those Wanamingos were cool enough. Mutant Menagerie. It's just the gift that keeps on giving. Every day I play this and I find something new. Such a brilliant mod. And it's not even that big either on your thing. You know what's also a brilliant mod? This thing that's a red toad same mod um this as well is great if you don't like the bloat or the megabytes that you consume using combined arms and you just want an as well ready to go and it, something that looks good then i highly recommend this one it feels great to shoot it feels great to play around with the customization is well, it's got a bit of charm to it. Like, again, having those COD-associated perks, I think, gives it a little bit of charm. But it's all functional. It works great. The weapon's not obnoxiously loud, so I don't know if that's a thing that Warfighter's Workshop would have heard about, about um, me or heard me say when reviewing his other guns. But, yeah, I think he's done a really good job here, and uh, I highly recommend you download it. Links will be in the description if you want it. You can also wear the gun. Classic holstered weapons, get around it. It's good stuff. Let's get out of this glowing sea.